In today's video, I'm gonna teach how to display different records from different objects inside your Salesforce page. I'm here at this opportunity page and let's say I wanna bring POC records into this page uh, without even having to go back to accounts, go into the uh, POC records and display the data. So today we're gonna use the edit page functionality and as you can see here in Salesforce, we're gonna use what's called dynamic list. So let's search for dynamic related list. You bring into the page, whatever it is. So I'm gonna use this one that's already created. It's to bring POC records as a list in my opportunity page. So to start, we're gonna choose the parent record. Usually it's a object that's related to the opportunities record. So if you are choosing the opportunity page because you need to change that opportunity page. So for the parent record, we're gonna choose the account name because that's the parent record that holds the POC object. For the related list, we're gonna use POC. And for the, P, uh, for the related list label, we can say POC for parent account or POC for this account. Then you can choose the related list type, either if it's a tile or a list. Personally, I prefer using a list because I believe it uses, you know, we have uh, limited space in, in, in the Salesforce, uh, in the laptop screen. And the list actually uses this space in a more effective way. Next, we're gonna use, uh, choose the number of records that can be displayed at the same time. It can go for up to 30 records. In this case, I only chose 10 because many times POC is only actually, it's very limited. It doesn't really go above 10 or five. Next is choosing the related list fields that's gonna be displayed. So I chose POC name, POC stage, and start, start date and end date. Typically, those are the fields that people wanna see the most. I also sorted uh, this list uh, by POC start date uh, on a decreasing order. If for some reason you choose an object that has many, many records and you're not interested in all of them, you can actually add a filter. So let's say uh, out of these POCs, I don't want anything that's below last year. So I can add that option here. So let's put an example like POC start date being greater or equal to January 1st, 2023. Then you can also include actions if you need a new button or if you create a custom button, you can include that in here. And finally, set the component visibility. In this case, it's, it's okay. I, I wanna show it to all users. So hit save. Then once you go back, I can see all the opportunities that run that ran for this account after I used that specific filter. 
So we have POCs for this account. That's uh, for this year. We have one POC. If I want to remove that filter, I actually gonna probably have two records if I remember it well. Okay, so we have two again. And this is how you display other objects records into your Salesforce page. Thank you. I hope this was helpful to you. Give a like and subscribe for more content here at Lean Scale. Thank you.